our scope. Um, so in this example, yes, <laughs> perfect. Um, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have I factor. And we could definitely go ahead and write this as it's 0 or its potential 0. And then go ahead and set up law, uh, synthetic division. Correct? All right? And there's nothing wrong. And all you guys would do is just you're going to be adding and you're just going to be adding and multiplying with radicals. And it's just operations with that, and it's completely possible. However, I like to think about something that we learned um, earlier today that we talked about in our warm-up. Guys, look at the last two warm-ups. What was important? Why did I include those last two problems in the warm-ups? Because I wanted to make sure that you conceptually understood the idea of, oh, I thought you were raising your hand. It's important for you guys to conceptually understand the idea that if you are given a factor of a square root or a root or of an even root or of an imaginary number, that the conjugate exists. The other fact, if this is a factor, what else has to be a factor? What else? X minus. X minus, right? Has to be. Look at what I did. X squared minus 5. S solve for it. It's x plus or minus. The factors would be x minus square root of 5, x plus square root of 5, right? You have the plus and the minus. Go to i. You're taking the i. You're taking the square root of a negative coefficient, plus or minus. You have to have plus or minus. So the fact that we know this and we know this, well, if I now that's I got two factors out of the way, right? I only need to figure out there's only yeah, there's only one more in this case. So what I'm going to do is let's multiply these. I don't want to use synthetic division here, and I don't want to use long division like that. But if I multiply these, I can find another factor, right? Two is a factor of twelve. Four is a factor of twelve. The product of two, uh, not four. Um, 3 is a factor of 12. You can see that the product of 2 times 3 gives you 6, right? 6 is also a factor of 12. Like, so the product of these two is also going to be a factor of this polynomial as well. So what we'll do is we'll multiply using difference of two squares. And when we do that, we get x squared, negative 3 times negative 3 is a negative 9. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to be 2. So we get x squared minus 18. So now let's use long division here. So let's do x squared minus 18 divides into x cubed minus 15x squared minus 16x minus 36. x squared goes into x, x times, x times x squared, 18 negative 18x. Oops. Wait a minute, what's happening here? That's x cubed. Negative 18x. Subtract our rows. That becomes a positive 2x um, minus 36. So why doesn't something seem right here? Uh, x times x squared is going to, or x squared divides into negative 15x squared, a negative 15 times. Negative 15 times x squared is a negative 15x squared. Negative 15 times, hmm. Did I mess up the problem? It's not working, is it? Make sure I wrote down my problem correctly. x squared minus 15x. Oh, I did write that wrong. I did write the problem wrong. My bad. Sorry about that. Um, that's going to be x to the fourth. Dang it. I multiplied that all wrong. Cut. All right. So let's fix this here. The initial part of the problem is still correct, but our that becomes x to the fourth. I was wondering why this wasn't working out right.
Sorry about that. The actual real problem is So let's just go back and do this. You get x to the fourth minus 18x squared. Subtract. You get 3x cubed um, plus 2x squared, because that becomes a positive. x squared goes in there, 3x times. 3x times x squared is going to be 3x cubed. 3x times negative 18 is going to be a negative 54x. Subtract your rows. Here you get a 2x squared minus that. It actually goes to 0. And then you get a negative 36. Um, x goes into 2x squared, positive 2 times. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times negative 18 is a negative 36. Subtract your rows, and you get 0. Okay. Sorry, I had to just do that kind of quickly, but you guys should at least be able to do that. And if you had trouble with the long division, um, just come and see me. But anyways, so trying to pick up from my mistake. <coughs>